Good morning, dear students. In the previous class, I had taught you about the medieval India and political transition. Transition, okay. So, Rajput dynasties. Yes, this very important dynasties that ruled in the northern India. Yes. So, after the rule of Vardhanas of Shatvish. Stanishwara, most of the western and the northern India was ruled by Gurjara Pratiharas, Chandelas, Bundelkhand, Chandelas of Bundelkhand, Gaharwals of Gaharwals and Solankis, Paramars and many other Rajput dynasties. Yes, and by the end of 12th century, Rajput kings like Prithviraj Chavan, Jaychandra Gaharwal, Paramardi Deva, Chandela, were the powerful kings of northern India. Yes. So, there are four, there are five to six important dynasties. Yes. Among them, Gurjara Pratiharas, it is very important, and the Nagabatta, he is the founder of this dynasty. Yes. And Mihir Bhoja and Mahendra Pala, they are the powerful rulers of this dynasty. Yes. And also in the Gaharwala's dynasty, Chandradeva was the founder of this dynasty, and Govind Chandra is another ruler of this dynasty. Yes. Next one important dynasty is Paramara's dynasty. Yes. So Bhujya is the most important popular king of Paramara, Paramara's dynasty. Yes. And next one is Solanki dynasty. Yes, Mularaja first. He is the founder of this dynasty. Yes. And so the literature of this dynasty is so famous uh, Jain scholar. His name is Hem Chandra. Yes, he wrote a dictionary that is Prakrit dictionary in Prakrit language dictionary. That is name is Deshi Mala. Yes. And next one is Chandelas. Yes, Danga is the most famous king of Chandelas. Yes. And also, Danga had a title that is Maharaja the Raja. Yes. And next, uh, Chauhans. So, in the Chauhans dynasty, so, Prithviraj Chavan is a very important king among the Chavan's dynasty. So, let us see what are the contributions of Rajputs. <coughs> yes, the Rajput who ruled during the last part of ancient and the early part of medieval period, they encouraged the art culture and religion liberally yes and also rajput kings themselves were scholars and kings like boja munja they have written various literary works yes so king munja had poets padma gupta and halayuta in his court yes and also king boja had extended his royal patronage to the jain scholars yes among them shanti sena Prabhachandra, Prabhachandra Suri and the Ganapala during his rule. Yes. And the poetic works like uh, Jai Devas, Gita Govinda, Bharati, Bharavis, Kiratharjaniya, Bhatru Haris, Ramana Vada and Mahendra Palas, Kavya Mimanse. Yes. These are the some important uh, poetic works were written during the rule of Rajputs. And dramas like Rajasekharas, Balaramayana and <coughs> Karpura Manjari is it is a very important drama, yes, which are written by the Rajasekara. Yes. So Balaramayana and Karpur Manjari. Yes. Next up Bhavabhuti is Mahavira Chaita and Uttara, Uttara Ram Charita, yes. And also historical works like Kalhanas, Rajtarangi, Jainikas, Prithviraj Vijaya, and Hemachandras, 
Kumar Pala Charita are the important words. Yes, and Prithiraj Raso it was written by Chand Bardai. Yes, and Bhoja Prabandha by Ballala. Yes, these are the very important biographies of Rajput rulers. Yes, so biographies, biographic of Rajput rulers are Prithiraj Raso. Which, uh, which was written by the Chan Bartais and Bhoja Prabhanta, yes, by the Pallala, yes. And the educational institutes of institutions of Nalanda, Kashi, Vikramashila, Ujjaini, this received support from Rajputs. Yes, there are educational institutions like Nalanda, Kashi, and Vikramashila, and Ujjaini. So these institutions received support from Rajput kings. Yes. So, let us see next one. The Rajput kings. Yes. So, the Rajput kings constructed spacious forts in Chittor, Mandu, Ranthambore, Jodhpur and Gwalior of Northern India. Yes. So, among them, the Gwalior fort. It is very important fort. Yes, and they also built palaces in Jaipur, yes, and Gwalior and Udaipur, Dilwara Temple, yes, Dilwara Temple and Vimala Temple and Luna Vasai Temples were built on Mount Abu, yes, <coughs> and all these are beautiful and known for the artistic architecture. The Chandelas built a Khandiraya's temple in Khajuraho. Yes. So it is very important temple and Shiva and Vishnu temples were more in number among the temples which during their regions. And they also encouraged the painting. Yes, the, pen, the painting style of this period is classified as a Rajasthani painting style and a Pahari painting style. Yes, and Rajasthani painting style can be seen in Bevar, Bukaner, Jodhpur, Jaisalmer, and Buni. <coughs> and Pahari painting style can be seen in Khasoli, Jammu, and Garhwal. And like this, Rajput have a special place in the history of India. So these are the contributions of Rajput. Yes. <coughs> So the forts are Ranthampur and Jodhpur, Chittod, Mandu, Mandu and the Gwalior that is in northern India and it is very important forts which are constructed by the Rajput kings. And also there are so many palaces. Yes, there are, there are that is in Jaipur, Gwalior and Udaipur. Also they have uh, constructed temples also like among them Dilwara temple it is very important and also Vimala temple and the Luna Vasai temple uh, they, are, they were built in Mount Abu yes so and also the Chandilas built Khande, Khandirayas temple in Khajuraho and also Shiva and Vishnu's temple uh, these are the important temples of the Rajputs so this is all about contributions of the Rush coaches and there is a small video that is uh, related to the contributions of Rush Board. So watch that video. Thank you. Contribution of the Rajputs. In this module, you will learn about the nature of the Rajput clans and their contributions towards art, architecture and literature. The Rajputs were great warriors and were loyal and chivalrous in nature. They were known to honour every promise that they made. They protected the women and the weak. The women were highly educated and honoured in society. They held their honour in high esteem and preferred death over dishonour. They participated in social life and also in wars, when needed. Child marriage and polygamy were prevalent. Women practiced sati and johar to protect themselves from enemies 
and to avoid dishonor. The Rajputs were staunch followers of Hinduism. They also patronized Buddhism and Jainism. The Bhakti cult started during the reign of the Rajputs. The Rajputs had a feudal government set up. Each kingdom was divided into a large number of Jagirs, held by Jagirdars. The Jagirdars collected revenue from the allocated villages and have a share of this revenue to the king. They also provided military assistance to their kings. The Rajputs have contributed immensely to the development of language, literature, art and architecture of India. During the Rajput period, regional languages such as Marathi, Gujarati and Bengali were well developed. The Bhakti singers and folk singers played a major role in the development of regional languages. Some of the noted literary works of this period are Kalhana's Raja Tarangini, Jayadeva's Gita Govindam and Soma Deva's Katha Sarita Sagar. Chand Bardai, the court poet of Prithviraj Chauhan, wrote the Prithviraj Raso in which he refers to the military exploits of Prithviraj Chauhan. Bhaskara Charya wrote Siddhanta Siromani, a book on astronomy. Raja Shekhara, the court poet of Mahindrapala and Mahipala, created some excellent works such as Karpur Manjari and Bala Ramayanam. During the Rajput period, mural paintings and miniature paintings gained popularity. The Khajuraho group of temples, the Lingaraja temple at Bhuvaneshwar, the Sun temple at Konark and the Dilwara temple at Mount Abu are some of the fine specimens of temple architecture created by the Rajputs. The Khajuraho temples attract tourists from India and abroad. The palaces at Udaipur and Jaipur and the forts at Chittor, Mandu, Jodhpur and Gwalior are also fine examples of Rajput architecture. The Rajput dynasty lacked the presence of a strong military power to keep a check on the warring princes and to coordinate their activities to fight against foreign invasions. Taking advantage of this political situation, the Turks invaded and established their control over India. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on the contribution of the Rajputs.